Hey, what's going on? The Christmas event started a few days ago. Uh, I didn't, wasn't actually following the game too much, so I'm a little bit late to this, but I uh, got back on here and I went and grabbed the, I don't know, I guess it was the second one, I think. It is these golden Xanas. It's pretty much the same as the Halloween event where you just go loot a location, like scavenger hunt type thing. And then you can craft something with it. Uh, I want to take a look at these items in the event page first. They uh, have this Purge of the Plague event. From 17th to the 5th. So that's quite a long time. 200% uh, XP. Loot spots. Looting speed. Weapon and armor loot. Cash. 20 days of it. That's actually really generous, I would say. And then they have this weapon, which is a flamethrower. I've never seen this thing function. And then it looks like they have two implants. And then they have different colored gifts. I don't know if they're actually different colored in game, but there's gifts. Which contain these clothing items, I believe. There's this blacked out plague set. And then there's like Christmas plague set. So that's pretty cool. I think they look pretty good, honestly. Uh, I wonder if you can wear the mask with the cloak. Like the plague mask. Let's see if anyone's doing that. Uh, I see it with a hat. Oh, this person has it with a hat. Oh. Yeah. But yeah, honestly, I think I like the plague mask. Uh, I probably wouldn't wear the other stuff. Maybe the cloak. I don't know. Maybe the cloak and the plague mask. But looks kind of neat. Looks kind of neat. Uh, it looks like they have some other little events and stuff. Pretty nice. Let's go to the credit shop. So this is the flamethrower. It has a thousand milliliter tank. Uh, they added new ammunition for this. Some gasoline or whatever. So, I heard- I think this was, like, really OP at one point, and they nerfed it or something. I- I read a little bit on the forums. But, I probably won't be getting this, it's very expensive. But, it's 120 explosive skill. Uh, just kinda like, I- I don't know, I'm assuming a flamethrower type thing. I heard it's a bit laggy. But it is 2k credits, which is pretty expensive. The past couple events have been like 1k credit for the weapon. But this one's 2k, I guess it's, you know, special crazy one. But only one weapon this time as well. And we have this Jingle Bell implant, which is the 1k credit one. Search speed, which is uh, new, I believe. And that's pretty interesting. I like that a lot. I never even thought about that for implants and whatnot. And then also more loot spots. Which is also new, I believe. Uh, that's really cool. And then we got all their looting benefits and then movement speed. Cannot equip with the snow globe implant, which is the craft, I believe. So here's the snow globe implant. Uh, it's 8% everything instead of 10. And then also it has no movement speed. And it's two milligraft. You can also craft the speed boost with the golden Santas. But yeah, that's that's it for the uh, crafts and all the stuff they added. Let's go take a look at the gasoline as well. So they added a new category here, gasoline, which. There it is, there's gasoline. I don't know. I don't know how, I have no idea what this equates to. Is this a lot of ammo? Is this a little ammo? Uh, a thousand, a thousand milliliters, a tank. This is 4,546, I don't know, why that number? You couldn't just give us like 5k in a stack? 4k in a stack? That's something. Like, just a nice even number. 4,500 even. No, we get... Uh, maybe this means something. This, this number might mean something. I don't know. But... Yeah, so... They also have bosses. Let me pull up the boss map. Okay, so here's the boss map. Let's see. We have Bandits, Santa, Wendigo. And then Marshmallow Man. Now I did run into what I'm assuming is a Marshmallow Man, it looked like just a snowman guy. 
Let's see, maybe cycling bosses again. We had bandits close. And then the Wendigos are pretty far. Uh, I have to go get the gift thing. Whatever, I'll have to loot that. But I also want to go do one of these cycles, so I guess I'll go do this Wendigo cycle. Uh, I will see you there. First, we gotta heal up our character because I am on critical. And I am absolutely broken on this. I sold some ammo for a little cheap because I had a bunch of ammo I was sitting on. But I am absolutely broke. I spent all my money on implants to resell later. Uh, during the Halloween event, I bought a ton of those dark pumpkin implants. Thinking, oh man, they're going to go up and I'm going to make a ton of money. Uh, let's see how that's going so far. Dark pumpkin implants. They have lost value of like 5 mil. Nice. Alright, so here we are in the city. They changed this screen a bit. It's just really big now. I don't see anything really different. Oh, and there's the flamethrower right away. Holy. It's also snowy out. That's, that's kind of neat. I like that. Okay, so this guy's saying two down, one left. I'm just gonna go there. Whoa, also when you pull up the uh, mini-map, it shows everybody's HP and armor, I'm assuming? And then also they added this, where it says entering and then like a zone? This is bandits, no? This is bandits. Okay, so I saw the flamethrower a bit. It looks pretty wild, I'm assuming it would be really good for like, killing hordes. I wonder what its thing is for like, is it like an explosive where it only can hit five things at once? Alright, so here we are at a boss area, I believe. Here it is, the Wendigo. I think there's only two of them, maybe, so. We got a Christmas chimney sweeper, whatnot, whatever, chimney sweeper. A little festive winter gun, you know? You know, not really current, but it is what it is. It fits the area, the landscape, the snow, the event. Not gonna lie, I could use this loot, because I am down bad. Let's see if I can loot one here. So it's a yellow Christmas gift 21. I'm not sure if they're all yellow. I think they were going like 40 grand yesterday. So they're pretty good if you can farm them. But I don't know how many you can get from like a cycle. I think it's only like two, so. I might need to sell them for money before I try to get the uh, uh, plague stuff. It looks like the bosses aren't crazy hard with people here. Looks like they're quite easy, in fact. Another yellow one. Uh, do I only get two? I don't... I don't think I'll get more than two. Let's see, there was one there that just died. And I got no loot. Okay, so... I'm gonna go grab the scavenger hunt thing. Okay, so they did add, actually, settings in here. So they have multiplayer settings, disable multiplayer barricades, disable local chat, and damage numbers of other players. That's kind of neat. I like that. I like that. And then they also have the HUD things that can show uh, whatever information you want. You can toggle that on and off. I don't know if they had that before. They might have. Oh, I am going to go to single player, and then you'll get that. Let's go jump. Okay, so I believe I am in the location, so it's just forward to the left of this empty square near Sekronoms. 
And they said if there's a boss, you loot indoors. If there's no boss, then you just loot outdoors until you get it. And there it is. Okay, so just the first thing. They said just keep looting until you get it. So here's the Golden Santa. But, yeah. So that was kind of just the update. Uh, there's probably some more events going on later in the update. But I did get to see the flamethrower a little bit. It looks so cool, actually. Uh, the flame's really neat. I like that a lot. I might have to try to get it, but it's really expensive. Like 60, 65 mil. And it's 2k credits, so. I, uh, I'd probably have to liquidize some assets, but I kind of want to work towards, like, a Wraith Cannon in the future, but. Uh, I don't know. That looked pretty neat. I, uh, I'll probably have to wait and see what they do with the nerfs or buffs. And then I can make a decision past that. But it looks really cool, honestly. Uh, I don't think it makes a zombie stronger or anything like that. I think it just burns them. It's cool. Uh, fire, fun, cool. Alright, thanks for watching. Uh, see you in the next one, maybe.